Steve. Well, there's three of us now, but I'm John Paul C. Yeah. <laughs> there's only one John Paul C. Yes, yes, yes. And I know I love the Lord. Amen. I can only speak for me. I want to see him when he comes. Yeah. I'm determined to live a holy life before yeah. him. I'm not going to let anybody get me off track. That's with right, sir. So whatever it takes, if I've offended you, I apologize. But if I have offended you with the word, there's no apology coming. No apology coming. That's right, sir. It's no. just not coming. I'm sorry. That's right. Well, not really. Huh? I'm not sorry. Let the Spirit of God speak to you and convict you. Yes. Yep. Because you didn't get ready to clutter. Yes. So trust the Holy Spirit. Yes. And then listen to what He tells you. If he tells you you're not all that, trust me, you're not, not all, all that. that. If he tells you that you're, you're stubborn, trust me, you're stubborn. If he tells you you're stingy, trust me, you're stingy. If he tells me you're, you don't like to take directions from anybody, you don't like to take directions. But here's the thing about it. Are you willing to say, Father, at all costs, I want to be revealed for who I am. And not just to me, but to everybody around me. So they'll know how to pray for me. Because I want to get rid of my club. Is there anybody here like that? Are you tired of this plain old church? Man, I know I am. I refuse to accept plain old church anymore. Amen. I believe that when we, when we get to worship and give God our best praise, yes. that His Spirit shows up in here. Yes, 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 yes. And anything we need, He'll give to us. Yes, yes. That means that somebody has a need, or a financial need, or a, a physical need, yes. that God will supply. Yes. By faith. Yes. Now, it doesn't mean that everything's going to pour down right here. But as you walk out believing God, I believe it will happen. Yes. No doubt in my mind. I believe that. Yeah. When I was told I had cancer, mm. I was running 15 miles a day. And the doctor tells me, what's wrong with you? Been there, done there. So something's not right. There's a growth there that we need to take out. And when they took the growth out, two years later, the doctor tells me, John, you know, two years ago when I took that growth out, it was cancerous. But I couldn't tell you. I tried to tell you, but I didn't know how to tell you. So I kept it away from you. But now you're cancer free. Yeah. All right. All right. I learned this, that when God loves you and you line up with God, He knows how to handle, how much you can handle at the time you need to handle it. Yeah, yeah. So whatever you have need of today, yeah. if you're looking for a, a body of believers that love you and care for you, let's say, God, I know you didn't bring me here by mistake. Yeah, right. I'm supposed to be here. If you're tired of living like you're tired, I want you to say, Father, I want to get things right. I want to restore our relationship. Listen. Here's the thing I want you to grab hold of. There should never be a day, there should never be a day where you and I, as people of God, are not reading the Word of God. Yes. I don't care if it's just a verse. How can you ignore life for a day? They didn't get that one. How can you ignore life for a day? Because the Word of God is, is, a, is living. So you say, oh, today I don't need life. Say, some of us lay, lay life aside until the next Sunday. I don't get it. How you put life aside for a week? For a week. Yes. 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 Stand up with me.